I'm going to describe how to train a support vector machine classifier to predict whether a YouTube channel has 20 million plus subscribers using Python. The support vector machine model will have as input the YouTube channel's video count, video views, started date and category, category being the subject the channel covers. The output of the model will be the Y or N as to whether it has 20 million subscribers or greater. Support vector machine classifiers take input and then attempt to separate the data into the target class. We'll be using the support vector machine kernel radial basis function, which will enable a non-linear separation. I downloaded the YouTube subscriber data from Kaggle. I then in pip installed Pandas scikit-learn and imbalance-learn. I imported the packages as follows. Minmax scalar is used to ensure that input features have values between 0 and 1. We'll be using random oversampler to oversample the data as we have an imbalanced data set with less channels having 20 million subscribers. We also import the support vector machine model as well as accuracy score and classification report to reduce metrics on the prediction. We begin by reading the YouTube channel data into a data frame. We then convert the subscriber count column to an integer. Likewise, we convert the video views and video count for each channel to integers. For YouTube data, which has null, null values, we drop the rows. So we create a new target class variable, which has a value 1 if the channel has 20 million or more subscribers and has a value 0 if that's not the case. Here I'm showing that the data is an imbalanced data set. And here I'm showing that for the different channel categories that we have different counts. Here I'm creating one hot encodings for category. That is, for all the different categories, I'm creating a new variable which has either value one or zero. I will also scale the data for video views and video counts and the date started. The reason we're scaling the data is that we don't want the support vector machine to give greater importance to a particular variable just because its scale is larger. We call fit transform to scale the started video views and video count variables. We're using the min-max scalar to ensure each of these variables has a value between zero and one. We're going to filter out channel data which have video views less than one. Here we're creating a new Y variable which is the target class to predict. And we create a new variable X which is the input features. We're dropping the variables that we don't require as video features. And we'll be keeping video views, video counts, date started and all the one hot encoding as input features to the model. This code creates a training and test data set using train test split. As the data is an imbalanced data set with less channels, which have 20 million plus subscribers, we're using oversampling to ensure that we have equal numbers of the predicted class in the training data. Here we're creating the instance of the support vector machine model and then fitting the model to the training data. Then using the trained model, we predict using the, the test input variables to produce predictions for the target class. We call accuracy score and classification report to produce metrics on the Y predictions against the actual Y values. The model had an accuracy of 67%, which means 67% of the model's predictions were correct. Below, you can see precision and recall and F1 score values. For the target class zero, which is channels which have less than 20 million subscribers, we can see the precision is 75% and recall 79%. For target class 1, precision was less, uh, only 51%. So only 51% of his predictions, having 20 million subscribers or greater, were correct. And only 46% of channels with 20 million or greater were predicted. So this model didn't perform that great. You could try experimenting with different hyperparameters to the support vector machine, such as changing the kernel. You could also look at adding additional input features to improve the performance of the model.